What's up guys, it's Unremarkable here, and I'm here with other items from the Japan Crate from August. Um, uh, today I'm going to be doing the drink. Uh, let me get the exact names again. I keep forgetting to open up my booklet before uh, I do this. So, the exact name of this is the Wakayama Mikan Soda. Uh, Mikan is a citrus fruit from over there. Never had it I'm assuming it, it's like an orange so we'll see how that is why did I close it I closed it okay uh, the other items I'm gonna do let's see we'll do the this is the sour cola uh, they call it paper candy so we'll do that and this well I'm kind of narrowing it down to the weirder stuff and I don't really want to leave everything weird for the last few. So we'll do the pizza things. Because even though they shouldn't be weird, they kind of are weird coming from Japan. Okay. And those actually, the exact name of that is. Where is it? Uh oh. Uh, special pizza flavored Texas corn. So I got that. Uh, as well as the other two. And I have... An odd number of items left. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll do this then. We're gonna do two more, and or I'll do one more item during this episode. That way, we even it out. So I'm gonna do the Natsukashi Ramun uh, candy. Okay. I don't know how I got to an odd number of items. I I I really messed up. <laughs> so. Let's go ahead and start off. We'll actually start off with the uh, Natsukashi. There we go. Okay. So here we have. Here's the Natsukashi bottle. It's got powder on the outside a bit. Hmm. I don't know why that is. I think it's just coming from the lid. Anyway, okay, apparently Ramun is just a flavor, I guess. I don't know. Oh, that has got a weird smell to it. I'm not sure what the flavor exactly is. I just got... can't explain what just happened. Try this again. I can't explain the flavor at all. It's kind of like sweet tarts, I guess. Yeah, sweet tarts. But there's like no flavor. It's like uh, almost like citric, just like ci citric acid. Uh, I'm not really. I'm not pulling a flavor out of this at all. Um, if someone knows something I don't, please tell me. Uh, they're not bad. Like it just tastes like a sweet tart to me. I don't know how to explain the flavor though kind of like powdered sugar and like a tart like a tartness to it uh it's good uh i can tell that those two are going to give me extreme heartburn though uh very uh acidic but yeah that, it, it's not bad uh i'd give it maybe like a six out of ten i don't particularly enjoy it it's very dry at first and then it just is gone within seconds and then you just taste the sourness and it's, I don't know there's not really a super sweet but it's not sweet really it's just sour mmm that was interesting uh, I'm gonna do the uh, special pizza flavored Texas corn now I'm just gonna open this a different way there we go ooh they smell pretty good so this is what they look like. They're little 
Just little corn puffs. Those aren't half bad. That's not weird at all. It tastes like a normal pizza corn puff from Japan. Uh, texture is really nice for like a corn puff. It's got like a nice little crunch on the outside and then the sturdiness on the inside of the, like the puff part, like the inside of the puff, you know. And it's just a little bit of a crunch and then soft. So it's really good actually. Uh, not too overpowered on the flavor. It's actually really nice, uh, really nice, like almost like a, just a spiced tomato flavor, like a basil oregano, and then tomatoey. Uh, very good. I'd get those definitely. Like, a, I'd give that a seven out of ten. Uh, bigger bag, I would plow through it easily. Uh, now we're gonna do the uh, the sour cola paper candy, as it's called. Okay. Smells like sour cola. Let's see this. Paper candy. It says you can pull it apart in strips, so let's do that. We're gonna open this all the way. Okay, let's get this out. So this is the paper candy. Now it's not exactly as thin as paper. Obviously you wouldn't want candy that's as thin as paper. And it pulls away in strips, so. Just pull straight down. Okay. <laughs> no, we don't just pull straight down. It doesn't happen like that. Never happens like that with me. Um, I'm gonna bit pull a bigger strip because there's no way I'm pulling one strip. This is very uh, very sticky. Obviously. There we go. Okay. Yeah, one strip definitely isn't going to happen here. There we go. Aw, oh, never mind. Alright. Very chewy. Uh, the sourness kind of just tastes like a lemon to it, even though it doesn't say it's lemon flavored. It's just like a... Reminds me of like lemon cola. Uh, back when... Was it... Did, did Coke have lime flavor at all? Or lemon? I don't think either Coke or Pepsi had lemon. I'm not sure though. But if you've ever had lime Coke, it tastes kind of like that. Uh, in a gummy form. It's pretty good, actually. I'd give that, uh, for what it is, uh, definitely an 8 out of 10. It's really actually good. Nice. I mean, it gives you uh, the nice cold. It's a good cold flavor. It's not just. Uh, doesn't taste exactly like Coke, but it gives you the cola flavor, so that's good. All right, now we're going to do the Wakayama Mikan Soda. Now, I have no idea what this is supposed to taste like. I'm assuming because it's citrus. Citrus is most likely like orange, lime, lemon, pineapple, stuff like that. It smells like, it smells like uh, tangerine, actually. Tangerine. Maybe, uh... Mandarin. Oh, let's try it. Tangerine, definitely. It's definitely hit. Um, it's not like, it's not even like, like you know how citric acid or citric citrus fruit has that sourness to it. Obviously, citric acid. Uh, it doesn't taste like sour or that doesn't have that acidy feel to it. Uh, it's more of like a light, light feel to it, I guess. Uh, think of like Sunny D, if you've ever had Sunny D. Think of that and then take away that super sweetness to it and then add carbon. That's like this. Uh, it's like like a, like a watery Sunny D with carbon and it's really good. It, I, don't, I don't mean that in a bad way. I like Sunny D. I don't like the sweetness to it, and this is actually really good. It's uh, very light and refreshing. I would have loved a bigger can, but this is a tiny little can. Look at that. It's like Big Show's hand around a 
normal size can. <laughs> no, but, uh, yeah. I would definitely have enjoyed a, a bigger can of this because it's actually really good. Or, heck, give me more of this, but... It's not bad at all. Um, very refreshing. And something that would definitely go well. I know this is going to sound kind of odd, but, uh... I used to mix drinks together and kind of make concoctions uh, with like sodas and stuff. That would taste great <laughs> mixed with a little bit of lemonade and then uh, like a lighter, more carbony uh, citrus drink. Like uh, I'd, I'd do 7 Up. So 7 Up lemonade in this drink, that would be awesome. Make like a punch out of it, it'd be awesome. But, uh, so that's it for this episode. Uh, No Man's Sky videos are coming this week. I'm probably going to be doing... My, my plan is to do 30 to 40 minutes per planet. Um, I know that sounds like a long time, but it really actually isn't. Because the game has so much to it. Um, I know there's been people complaining and stuff. Me, I don't mind. The, the There's not really many bugs that bother me in the game. Um... I do hope the uh, rendering issues get fixed because it's kind of hard to, you know, be flying planet to planet. And then when you're going onto the planet, it it very it takes longer than it should. I'm not gonna say it's a long time because it's only about five to ten seconds, but it takes longer than it should to render everything in the view. And and I understand that's probably a hard thing to do, especially with my kind of computer. I don't have like the most topped off stuff, so. It's not going to render it right away, but I do know that's probably an issue on their end, or on the game's end, not on my end, because I've had, I've been able to run other games with way better graphics, uh, at better rendering qualities than them. So I hope that does get fixed, but the reason I'm going to be doing 30 to 40 minutes is because it's going to be hard to show off a lot of the planet in under 30 minutes. Some of the episodes may, some of the videos may even go to an hour if needed um but some planets you know have more to it than others uh so far I, I have not seen one planet that looks the same so it's really cool uh then again I'm not that far in uh but the first video for that will be coming out I plan on getting that by Thursday uh getting it uploaded so be watching for that and then overwatch plays are coming as well um I already uploaded two of them so far. They're not impressive. They're not like super awesome, but uh, you know it's something. And I'm gonna be uploading uh, gameplay of Overwatch as well. So be on the lookout for those. No Man's Sky, Overwatch, possibly other games. We'll see what happens with that. Uh, right now, there's really not many other games that have interested me. Um, I, I still play Rocket League here and there, but it's not like it doesn't take up a lot of time so those videos are coming up and if there's something new that comes out just let me and if you want to see me do something let me know I, I'll be glad I'll gladly do suggestions so thanks for watching be sure to subscribe be sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video later